hello there welcome back to this video and in this video we will going to talk about the click sense first sorted value function so as you can see first sorted value this function returns the value based on sort weight expression or field specified and over here i have given you the script function and chart function both S script function as you can see is pretty simple uh, you just need a distinct value and sort weight or the rank and in the chart function you need you have the option of specifying the set expression the distinct keyword which is similar to script function and then total keyword along with the field or value sort weight and rank so a little bit more um, you know customizable within the chart for the front end presentation perspective all right so we will going to see how we can go ahead and execute this and for that i have a very simple uh, data that is in this data tab and uh, this data what i can do is you can find it in the uh, description about how to get it and it is simple it's a uh, load in line load star in line and uh, customer product order number uh, unit sales and customer id so here is the customer product is simple aa product this is just for reprint representation perspective order number is here which is one uh, unit sales is in the fourth column which is this dan and finally the customer id which is one okay so this is a simple data set and we have the information for these multiple customers like Estrida, Betacab, Canutility. Okay. I was not expecting this to be a, such a difficult one. Sorry about that. All right. So and the delimiter is pipe. And as you can see, all these columns are separated by pipe. That's why the delimiter is pipe. And now we will going to apply the first sorted value. Uh, function for that uh, i would like you to think about a scenario where you know you talk about you have a need where you want to get the maximum the the information about the customer which has the maximum unit sales like for example uh estrida right we should get this particular row right which is uh, uh have <clears throat> which is having the 18 as the uh, unit sales similarly for beta cab you have five as the sales unit sales similarly for can utility you have eight as the sales okay so we want to get programmatically the highest sales number and this is the first sorted um, value function will going to give us so how let's see first sorted value and then we will simply say load um, we will going to get the customer because uh, we need to group it by the customer uh, so sort uh, customer then we will apply the first sorted value function and within the first sorted value we want the product information that what is a product and we want the maximum unit sales so first of all we will going to write unit sales okay and uh, we will give it as uh, we will we can give any name that is uh, relevant to uh, you know uh, relevant to this but what it will going to give us is the product which is based on the sale so right now this will going to give the minimum sale so let's see it in the front end as uh, uh, max or prod by unit sales we have just given the column name all right and uh, now we will simply say resident um, resident table what temp and then we need uh, the group by group by the customer all right and semicolon you can have it in multiple lines but just so that it will make sense to you i have written this in one single line and i will click on save and click on the load data so now the data has been fetched i will just click close 
I'll go into the analysis and uh, come over here, create a simple table. And within the simple table, I will going to, let's say, add uh, the customer. And now I need another column by my, sorry, the, no, I don't need customer ID. I will just delete this. But I need dimension, which is prod unit by sales. So what it is giving me for S3, that is giving me CC. So let's evaluate this. In data, here is the S3 data and you have two as the unit sales. And what I told you is right now it will give us the minimum sale. So if you have a requirement where you need minimum sale, you will just specify like this and you will in the front end, you will get a product like this like for Estrella CC, for Beta Cab AA. So let's see for Beta Cab. Here you have a Beta Cab and you have four as a unit sale and five for product BP, right? But let's say you want maximum. So what you need to do is a simple tweak that you need to specify minus over here and click on save and then simply load the data. And click close. Let's go into the analysis. And now for S3 that has changed to AA. So let's go ahead and see evaluated again. So data and over here, if you see for S3, this is the line or this is the row it has picked up where customer name is S3, the product is AA and the unit sales is 18. So this information is now you have it for your relevant product. So as you can see, it gives you the, the first sorted value based on the expression or the sort weight that you have specified. We have specified unit sales as our sort weight and by that it has sorted the value, right? Now what you can do is you can uh, specify this even in the front end. So let's go into the analysis. And over here, we will, uh, let's take one text just so that we will get the perspective. Add text and measure. So let's add a measure, which is like an expression. And we will going to say that we want first sorted value because it will be single value. So it should display in the text box. So first sorted value by, let's say product. So we want product again by unit price. So what do we have? Unit sales. Okay. So we want product by unit sales. So what it will going to look at is the unit sale for a product, which is like the lowest one. So let's click apply and you get CC. So why CC? Let's go into the data because if you see for unit sales uh, for Estrida CC, you have got only two as the unit sales. And that is the reason why you have got it. So you, now you know what you need to do to do get the maximum. So over here, I will simply go in in product or I can go into the expression editor, come over here, say minus, which will give us the maximum value. I, I hope you have got it by now. So what you got is AA. So let's go to the data. And over here, this is the maximum unit sales, right? So this way you can apply the, the function, which is uh, the first sorted value function. And you can see how helpful it is uh, to get the first sorted value. Now, uh, this is the first sorted value, but what if I want the second value, right? It can be like a little bit more complex. So maybe what you can do is over here, just come over here and say comma two apply and I think second is also AA so let's go back so after 18 you have 10 but the third one is BB because it is 9 so let's change it to 3 to see it in perspective um, go into the expression editor change it to 3 it should give us BB yeah, so the product name is now BB. So now you know what you need to do. Let's say you want minimum, the first minimum, the second minimum, the third minimum, or the first max, the second max, or the third max. 
you can do all that and uh, you know get the desired output as per your needs so that's quickly about uh, a, an explanation an entire explanation of first sorted value for both chart and script function so i hope you have found it useful let me know what do you think about this video and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic